Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, good evening to our friends across the pond. We are back, week 27 of Sundays with Mary. Can you believe it? I can't even believe it. Sundays with Mary and Jamie and McKaylee. Uh, yeah, 27 weeks of this, and um, we are continuing to uh, uh, find people that we love to bring uh, into uh, your living room and ours. Uh, this week, we are so delighted to have my friend Travis Meadows with us. Uh, he's in the green room, uh, and we've uh, we've said hi pre-show, and uh, I, you guys are going to just love his songs and and him. Uh, he's a fellow Nashvilleian at the moment, anyway. So he's across town from us instead of across uh, the ocean from us, but we have this incredible technology we can bring people from anywhere into this screen, and, and that's a, a wonderful thing to have during this this time. Um, yeah, when troubadours never stop. That's right, Jerry. <laughs> Ellen Reed, good to see you, Mel, Steve, and Jerry. People from all over the world on the feed uh, today. So happy to to have this technology and the ability to speak to you from our room upstairs in Green Hills, beautiful, <laughs> rainy Green Hills, Nashville, Tennessee. Um, what happened this week? We voted. Mm-hmm, we did. Yeah, well, Jamie, I and I, Jamie and I voted. Uh, we went to the sleepy little precinct that I've been voting at for over 20 years. Uh, I've never, ever experienced more than 10 people in line over there in the 20 years I've been voting there. I've I voted in the uh, uh, small elections, local elections, primaries, big elections, um, and uh, I uh, have never experienced a line uh, in uh, in the 20 years of voting there. Uh, but uh, two days ago, when we went to vote, um, I uh, I parked. We walked out of the car and. We got to the back of the line in two hours, and almost 10 minutes later, we voted. It's the longest line uh, that uh, we've ever had at the Bellmead Police Station. A little bitty town, little bitty, little bitty, bitty village of Bellmead right outside of Nashville. Two hours, 10 minutes, and every day we drive past there since, there's that windy, long, long line. So I predict record turnouts uh, for this election. Uh, the official election day in the United States is November 3rd. People are early voting for, for lots of reasons, uh, as did we. Uh, you know, two hours went pretty fast, didn't it? Yeah, we had a good time. Eh, what's the name of that game we played? Heads Up. Heads Up. If you guys play that, it's like you can do it on your iPhone. and um, It's like a guessing game. It's really fun. <laughs> it's a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, yeah, we... Uh, we played this game where you have a word and you put it on the phone and you put the phone on your head and you give clues and and the other person guesses. I'm a really good clue giver. You're an excellent clue, clue giver. Yeah. But the problem is I don't have a good knowledge of popular culture. So if it's like within the last 30 years of popular culture, I don't know. Mine stops after the early 2000s anyways. <laughs> I can go backwards, but I have no idea what's going on now. Uh, but anyway, uh, what else is going on? Uh, we watched a great show last night on Netflix called Social Distancing. Um, it's vignettes, uh, and it's brought to you by the people uh, who uh, wrote Orange is the New Black. Uh, it's, it's vignettes of people, a variety of different kinds of people during the pandemic. Um, and oh my God, we got started and we just kept going. Till. And it's the first time I've ever seen you binge watch television. I've never, I'm have i not a binge You're watcher. Not, <laughs> yeah. I'm not a binge watcher mm -hmm. at all, but uh, yeah, we couldn't stop. So 23 minute segments of a deep dive into people's lives during the pandemic. And um, it just felt like um, voyeurism in a way because people are going through such struggles and and the vignettes go deep into people's hearts and struggles. Uh, I found it mesmerizing, and I can't watch, wait to watch more tonight. So it's called, uh, it's called Social Distancing, and it's up on Netflix. And I'm not sure how that works internationally. Are you? I'm pretty sure you can watch Netflix. It's global? Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure that I've watched 
I have binged Netflix and we are over. Yeah, I just don't know what's available in different <laughs> yeah, I don't know. areas. But uh, I don't know how anyway, works. that's what we're up to. Anyway, welcome to all the folks from Travis Meadows, uh, Travis Meadows Facebook page and and Michaela Gazich's Facebook page and and of course all the folks coming to you from the Mary Gaucher page. And we're gonna stop talking now. Uh, thank you for giving us the heads up about that echo. I think Jamie's fixed it. Uh, what, what we do without your technical abilities here in, uh, uh, here in broadcast land. Thank you for fixing okay. things. <laughs> I uh, didn't fix anything, but I'll take the, I'll take the credit. How'd you make it go away? It know. just stopped on I, its own? Mm -hmm. uh, you don't know? I'll, I'll take it, whatever it is, I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you for stopping the ghosts in the machine. Yeah, the ghosts.
<laughs> yeah. I'm gonna play one from the Rifles and Rosary Beads record. Uh, this is a song that I wrote with a group of military spouses. And uh, as I sat down with this group of spouses married to members of the military, the U.S. military, different branches, uh, the wives all had uh, uh, similar things to say about what it was like for them right now. And uh, I had the great fortune of being uh, able to write this with the six military spouses and Beth Nielsen Chapman, who was part of the retreat that we were at uh, that weekend with Songwriting with Soldiers. So Beth and I sat down with these women and we listened and this is what we heard them say. It goes like this. Who's gonna care for the ones who care for the ones who went to war? There's landmines in the living room, eggshells on the floor. Lost myself in the shadow of your honor and your pain. You stare out of the window as her dreams go down the drain. Invisible. The war after the war. I get no. to carry on I can't fall apart People look at you and thank you for the sacrifice you made They look at me and smile Say I'm lucky You're okay Good there, Harris. Thanks, Gaucher. Go ahead and bring out a brand new song. I think this is one of the new this is the newest song that I have. Just completed it over the last couple of weeks. Uh, co-written on Zoom <laughs> with my dear friend, the lad from Belfast, Mr. Ben Glover. Uh, and uh, we wrote this uh, after reading a wonderful book that my friend Odie Lindsley, Lindsay wrote. Uh, it's called Some Go Home. I recommend this book if you like Southern literature. It takes place in a fictional town, uh, North Mississippi, uh, and it chronicles several lives, one of which is a female veteran who's dealing with trauma. Uh, and uh, uh, it is a gothic book. It belongs steadfastly in the pantheon of gothic southern literature. It's a wonderful book. You're looking for a nice read. That's uh, one that I can recommend highly. 
and Odie would appreciate it. Some Go Home, Odie Lindsay. And this song came out of reading that book. Highway 90 westbound In the falling dark Rolling past cornfields, catfish farms and swamps, a Pascagoula sunset, a longing breaking through. Don't know why I'm always leaving. Don't know why I left you Won't you meet me in the meadow We can look up at the stars Lean into the wind Dream again Find out who we are Won't you meet me in the meadow? No more alone. Let's lay down in the grass till the feelings pass, then go home. I have so much to tell you Yes, I'm ready to come clean I'm so tired of running From the things I cannot leave You and me and Mississippi Battled beautiful and scarred In need of forgiveness And the awful grace of God Won't you meet me in the meadow We can look up at the stars Lean into the wind, dream again, find out who we are. Won't you meet me in the meadow? No more alone. Let's lay down in. Till the feelings pass, then go home. Let's lay down in the grass till the feelings pass. Thank you. That's you know, it's growing on me. And I think I really like that one. I'm going to play one more song, and this is the song um, 
that I want to use to introduce you to our guest today. I co-wrote this with Travis, Travis, a lot of years ago. Uh, and, uh, God, I don't even remember where we were when we wrote it. I don't remember, I don't remember much about this. The song is kind of a blur. Uh, but, uh, people ask for it all the time, and it's a song that, uh, we don't do we don't we don't we don't do a stream without people asking for it. So uh, it's called "I Ain't Leaving," uh, and uh, Travis, uh, uh, I remember I remember kind of Travis writing this this um, for sorting out the the music for for the bridge and figuring it out in his uh, in his wonderful musical mind, and uh, I sort of just sat there and let him figure it out because I had no idea how. He was taking it uh, the way he was taking it to such a beautiful place. I just let him have have uh, have free reign on that. Uh, I don't remember if this was hard to write or easy to write. I don't. God, I don't know. Sometimes when you're writing a song, you just kind of forget what happened. We'll talk about that a little bit. It, it happens in a bit of a trance sometimes. Uh, there's so many songs I can't remember writing. I go to another place, uh, and then I come back, and then there's this thing that has appeared. Uh, I know we did it, but I don't, I don't know <laughs> how we did it. <laughs> Help. I think you normally pick it. Maybe? I am pick I, it. Am I wrong? That's it. What I I got it. I keep, it blurs into that one I just sang. It's in the same key. Broken on the inside. That's what I used to say. Then I'd pack my bags, raise a white flag, and drive away. I thought that's what made me strong But I was young and I was wrong And I ain't leaving anymore I ain't walking out that door No Stand my ground. Gonna stare my demons down. I ain't leaving. Don't know when it happened, but I turned a corner somewhere on the road. side of those stubborn years somehow I ain't so broken anymore I pushed away what I should have held yeah but sorrow told me well and I No more running away Made up my mind to stay Gonna stand my ground Gonna stare my demons down There's still a whisper in my ear that I'm trying not to hear. Haunted voices from my past, promises of greener grass. 
talking to me every day, fighting hard to have their way. But I Oh, my fingers got all tangled up. That was less than perfect, but so am I. So there we go. Let's bring Travis Meadows onto all the right, screen and say hello. Hey, man. What is going on? I, I was hoping you would you would move real slow getting to me. That was quite emotional for me, uh, listening to you do that song. Uh, yeah, I was such an admirer of yours. Uh, when we finally got a chance to, to get together in a room, I was just awestruck and uh i do actually i do remember because you were you were um kind enough to bring me into your home uh, even while you were going through a really challenging time in your life you know and uh and songwriters have this weird camaraderie that even uh it, 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 you'll share things with a songwriter you won't share with a significant other or a lover or sometimes even god but you'll share it with a songwriter and you were just saying these and everything that you were saying were lines and I, I, I was sitting there just writing them down you know um that first verse was literally you just talking and saying what you were going through it was really beautiful so uh I loved hearing you do that song it brought back a lot of great memories and I just love you to death I love you too my friend and and the more you talk the more I'm starting to remember uh we were in his very office right here when we wrote that song. I think so yeah yeah, I was really, really struggling, which, of course, is a great time to co-write. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times all you need is somebody to kind of help you, you know, collect your thoughts or sort your thoughts. Yeah, I always tell my, uh, I, I'm teaching a lot these days, and I tell my songwriters that I'm working with that songs are really just what feelings sound like. Songs are what feelings sound like. That's so great. It's so true. <laughs> let's, let's, just, let's, just, let's just put how we feel into this music and that's all we got to do is, yeah. is put it in in such a way that other people can feel it too and yeah. know that they're not alone. Yeah. God, yeah. that's what I love about you. And, that's, and, uh, and that fearless approach is what separates you from so many others. And I just, I respect you so much for that, for just telling the truth and being vulnerable. Um, you know, so I've, I've, I've always leaned toward that myself in my writing. Um, I was actually, uh, you know, pretty old to move to Nashville. I was 38 when I even tried to come and write songs. So I was kind of at a point where I, I really did not care at all about chasing things on the radio. I was just kind of trying to, to leave some kind of a legacy. I was in emergency mode because, right, you know, um, going through a chaotic time and drinking myself to death and, and just trying to, to write as much as I could because I thought I was going to die. And then, of course, I got sober, started documenting that, and uh, but I held on to the honesty. For me, it's a waste of time to do anything less than just tell the truth. That's what's important to me, you know, because my name is about all I got. And I, so I don't want to put my name on anything that I'm not proud of. Yeah, we had that in common. I was 40 when I got here. Yeah. And uh, I was sober, but 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 man, I was wounded. And, uh, yeah. I just had to work through all the things that drove me to addiction, and I worked mm. through it using songs as my, really my my. Uh, I think of myself as being in a giant ocean, and the lifesaver I held on to was songs and songwriting, mm. and then songwriters. Yeah. You know, and, and you're definitely a kindred spirit, and mm. we see things 
in such a similar way, and we we take this art form seriously. And I love that about you. You're not messing around. No, I don't. There's no time for that. There's no time for that. There's no time for that at all. <laughs> yeah, your songs are brutally honest, and they they bring hope, but not the kind that you tape on with that duct tape. Mm. Uh, that sort of gray duct tape hope song. You just don't mess with that. It's yeah. The hope comes from the energy and effort it takes to put these things onto uh, uh, onto a, a recording or to, to put them onto paper. You know, people without hope don't write songs. You've got to have hope just to get to get to the paper and to yeah. the pen and to and to the guitar or the piano or just to sing it. And that's the kind of hope, um, real uh, sort of hope hard earned. Yeah. And, uh, Man, I I just I, I've so much enjoyed watching you soar over the last decade. You've really come into your own in a powerful way, and young writers look to you now. Uh, and uh, I feel so proud of of what you've accomplished after you got sober. It's just an incredible um, uh, sort of uh, uh, it's a it's a tale of, of of a phoenix rising in so many mm. ways, Travis. Uh, well, that means the world to me. You've always been a, you've always been a beacon of of hope for me. When I when, any time that I would lose sight of, you know, uh, what I was trying to do or or shoot even who I am, you know, I could always kind of look back to you and and uh, and uh, and even more importantly than that, even in some of the chaotic times, uh, you still answered my calls. <laughs> I would call you in some really desperate times, and a lot of people wouldn't even answer the phone. And you always answered the phone and uh, often taught me off the ledge. So I just, uh, I but anyways, always yeah. always answer your call. Yeah. I am always happy to hear from you. And no matter what we get ourselves into next, um, I know that we have this true desire to be sincerely honest and vulnerable and to tell the truth, even when the truth is, does it not make us look good? Oh, man. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Uh, you're one of the best, Travis Meadows. Would you well, play thank two you. songs for us? And I'd be happy to. Going? Be sure. Yeah, be glad to. We're going to put ourselves in the green room and give you the screen. Okay. This, uh, I'm a, I'm, I think I'm just going to do all new songs. And... Um, uh, my grandfather used to say uh, something that confused me. He would say, uh, the older I get, the less I know. And I could not put that math together. And um, and now that I am getting older, it makes perfect sense. And um, uh, anyway, I wrote, that, uh, I wrote this about that. Often people reach out to me on Facebook or email and they have questions. And, and uh, I guess they suppose that I'm going to have the answers. And... Uh, most of the time, I don't. <laughs> I'm just as confused as everybody else, just trying to muddle my way through. Uh, but I certainly thought I had the answers when I was younger, and boy, was I wrong. I was 20 years old when I bought this guitar. Chose a road, headed into the dark The world needed saving And I had the spark for the fire that all of us needed So I went to the mountain straight through hell Tried breaking the demons, but I broke myself Your dreams don't mean nothing to nobody else We all get tired of believing Oh, don't ask me nothing cause I don't know Oh, it's a long way to me on a crooked road. I keep rolling this rock up a stubborn hill. Can't make sense out of what I feel. Give me a little bit of trouble and I'll make a big deal. Out of raindrops on a windshield. They say you can't know a man do you walk in his shoes. I wouldn't wish on the devil what I put mine through Try to keep moving, what else you gonna do? Oh, don't ask me nothing cause I don't know Oh, it's a long way to me on a crooked road I keep rolling this rock up a stubborn hill Can't make sense out of what I feel Give me a little bit of trouble and I'll make a big deal 
out of raindrops on a windshield. Raindrops on a windshield. Oh, don't ask me nothing cause I don't know. Oh, it's a long way to me on a crooked road. I keep rolling this rock up a stubborn hill. Can't make sense out of what I feel. Give me a little bit of trouble and I'll make a big deal. Out of raindrops on a windshield. Raindrops on a windshield. Yeah. If you came here for answers, this is goodbye. If you're looking for a preacher, I ain't even gonna try. Cause I got years on the runway, but I still can't fly. I'm still down here driving. I'm still down here driving. And then there's this little hopeful, hopeful little bit. I was um, riding with a good friend of mine, Levi Lowry, and I was having a really bad day. And uh, running hot on the level here, I see. So I'm going to turn things down just a little bit and hope that helps. I'll back away from everything as well. Thank you for the, uh, the notes down there. Uh, uh, and uh, anyway, I was having a particularly bad day, and uh, Levi... For whatever reason, we got we got to talking about uh, the cosmos and everything else, and uh, and Levi said something. He said, uh, "Well, you know, we're made of the same stuff that the stars are made of," and I said, "Bullshit." And he said, "No, it's true. Google it." So I googled it, and it turns out that we are made out of the exact same stuff that stars are made of. And I found that fascinating and quite hopeful uh, that I am uh, made of the same stuff that the stars are made of, and so we. Uh, I had a couple of lines that I didn't know where to place them, and I knew exactly where to put them. When Levi brought that up, I went through my phone and I pulled up those couple of lines, and uh, that's the start of the song, and then we wrote it, and it goes exactly like this. You can try again tomorrow, just make it through tonight. Everything looks better in the morning. The sun will come up again Like an old familiar friend And both of you can shine in all your glory Don't be afraid of who you are You're made of the same stuff as the stars Shine Shine on. Even when you're falling, you're still lighting up the dark. You're made of the same stuff. You're made of the same stuff as the stars. A dream is still a dream, even if it don't come true. But if that don't mean that you don't try to push it through Every time that you get that chance You gotta dance that dance There's a world out there that needs to hear your story Don't be ashamed of who you are You're made of the same stuff as the stars Shine on, shine on. Even when you're falling, you're still lighting up the dark. You're made of the same stuff. You're 
made of the same stuff as the stars. You'll still light up the dark And even when the only hope you're holding falls apart You're made of the same stuff You're made of the same stuff as the stars Yeah, you're made of the same stuff You're made of the same stuff as the stars like that yeah man thank you yeah you you gently laid that hook right down in the right place thank you thank you that that second song for whatever i mean it moves me every time it's it's actually a little difficult to sing that part where it says don't be afraid of who you are don't be ashamed of who you are uh for whatever reason, I have struggled being me my entire life. And um, it's, uh, anyway, I love that song. So thank you for the opportunity to get to sing it for people. I love it. It's, just, it's you know, to me, it's, um, what I was thinking is it's straight up uh, humility. Mm. You know, we think of humility as something to temper, temper arrogance, but it's also something to temper self-loathing. Mm. Like we're not as bad as we think we are. <laughs> oh. It's... it's, it's, it's <laughs> You know, if you, you there's an arrogance to thinking you're worse than 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 uh, than everyone else. There's an arrogance in 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 low self esteem that that places yourself beneath what your potential is and what what you have, the power that you do have. Yeah, uh, man, it's like a you know you, you like uh, you're in the you're in the, the the part of a slingshot, like you're back here and you're just waiting on the the let go. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if and and the minute and the minute you get that permission, you know, it's you're gone. You're off. You're off to where you're supposed to be. Yeah, just incredibly beautiful way of saying it. That, um, thank you. That that, that, that just right sizeness. Yeah. Know? Thank you. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Oh man. Well, a compliment from you is better than gold in the hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inspired. Well, why don't we have Jamie play a song and bring you back in a couple? That sounds great. Thank you. Thank you, Travis. Yeah, see you in a few. Sure, thanks, Mary. Jamie's got this new song that I'm in love with. It, I think it's a title track to a record. I don't know if it is. It's her record if it is, but I think this is a big old song, and uh, it's uh, it's got it's got a. It's got a lot going on, and I want I want to have her play that. It's called Boomerang Town. Would you play Boomerang Town? Thanks. Seat when we 
next to the seminary. She serves the truckers, the troubadours, the punks, the college kids who trash their booze all stoned and drunk, who always pay but never tip with daddy's money. Julie and I come from similar kin. Heavy drinkers quick to anger's fist to skin. They all live and die here. Then won't be else, I swear to her. I promise you will see the world. I just don't know where. As for me. Let's go and start flying. As for me, the only dream I've ever had is getting out of this boomerang town. It feels like so. Mary, thank you. Yeah, let's bring in the maestro. You got it. Such a great song, Jamie Harris. <laughs> oh, yes, such a great song. I love that song, Jamie. Thank you, I told you last week, too. So, this is um, maybe if I can choose one, my favorite uh, among uh, your new songs. They are all great, but this is uh, something else. I love it. Thank you, Michaela. <laughs> yes, yes. I agree with Mary. <laughs> Monster Thank song. You. Oh, yes. Uh, Ciao, Maestro. How are you? 
I'm fine. Uh, I'm fine. Um, I try to build a, a different setting behind me slowly. And um, I try to be positive, uh, even if uh, um, here in uh, Europe, as you know, numbers are uh, again uh, going up, up and up in uh, all Europe, not only Italy. So uh, I try to be safe, to stay at home, uh, read my my books, work on my set for our Sunday meeting, and I wait for the next time, for a, um, for a tomorrow that uh, is a long time. Do you remember that, uh, that old Dylan song, Tomorrow is a long time? It seems a long time right now, tomorrow, but it will come. Tomorrow's a long time, lonely means nothing to me at all. Oh, yeah. Mm. I know that song well, and I also know the Elvis Presley version of that. Oh, yes, yes. I, I love that, too. That is uh, really different. It has a, a vague blues feeling. and uh, he, but, he, Elvis made it swing, almost. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And I love that, too. Lefebvre does a beautiful version of that as well. It does. Oh, my gosh. Tomorrow's I remember that, too. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's, a beautiful, it's one of my favorite Dylan songs. That he it's did. a yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous song. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. It's um, a song, Tomorrow is a Long Time, that is uh, uh, not so well known because it's not on an official album, but only on Greatest Eats compilation, something like that. But it's such a great song. I always loved it. You're going to play it on violin or piano? uh, Yes, yes. Uh, I think that um, tonight I will play an instrumental version on the violin because everybody knows... The lyrics. So maybe just uh, enjoy the melody tonight. Thank you, Maestro. Please. Thank you, Mary.
Yeah. Oh, oh God. God. That's gorgeous. Thank you, Mary. This is such a great melody, such a great song. It's a, I really wanted to, to share with you and my friends tonight because it, it came to my mind for some reason this day, this, uh, for these words also, tomorrow is a long time. I was thinking, thinking about this uh, idea and I said, okay, why uh, not to play this uh, on the violin next Sunday? It's, and so, it's an incredibly beautiful song. He wrote that as a very young man too. Yes, yes, he was uh, 20, 21 years old, so unbelievable. It's just gorgeous. Oh, well, yes. Thank you, Maestro. I wish, I wish there wasn't an ocean between us. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I wish that too, but uh, I consider a, a miracle that uh, we are... Uh, we are still doing things together, working together, seeing each other each week. So, and uh, I love this. And uh, this is really helping us all to go through this and to survive, to cross this uh, desert. And, and uh, so, uh, until we see again, Mary, soon, I hope. We will see you next sunday <laughs> yes <I know. laughs> and email you during the week <laughs> okay i'll do that too thank you michele ciao everybody ciao michele you as the daylight dims till the morning sun warms your face till I see you sleep inside the stillness of the night till I see you again Till I 
I see you again Jamie, let's bring back uh, let's bring back Travis. Got it. Travis. Well, that was amazing. All of that. <laughs> so great. Uh, this is cool technology, isn't it? It's great. I'm just loving it. I, now, can we go back and watch this again? I, I'm yeah. still I'm still kind of hung up on our our conversation. That, but there was enough meat <laughs> in that conversation right there that that uh, that you could almost package it and just i, I, I want to go back and watch it and just listen to that conversation over and over and over again it was so wonderful oh, well, the song, and uh, the song the song brought it up so uh so great so great love the boomerang town love the violin uh, it's just i'm just having a blast I i'm having a, i'm having a time over here this is wonderful i am too give us two more would you I'd love to. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Here's another new one. All of these, uh, there's a high risk, a high probability of mistakes, but they're they're new to me, so they they uh, they still excite me. Um, uh, if you listen to anything in my in my catalog, you will hear a lot of songs that sound like uh, uh, that I'm leaving breadcrumbs for somebody, and that is the truth. I um, always think about my son. Uh, my, my, you know, my dad was not there for me, so I always think about my son, and and I hope that one day, much later in life, I hope I'm here. But if I'm not, he could always look to these songs and and get a little uh, get a little guidance on how to, you know, uh, figure a few things out. Uh, so I feel like uh, this kind of sums up uh, our legacy. We're all so goofy, you know. We're just we're just, we're just goofy. Uh, nobody, anybody that tells you they got it figured out, run. We're all noses on the grindstone, running on a loop, out to change the world with our bumper sticker true. And we walk our crooked roads, there ain't no straight line going home. And if you're lucky, you'll find love, so you don't have to walk alone. We're all a little lost, a little off, a little choosing. Pull our cars into the driveway with the keys that we keep losing. Given time, we might just finally find we're right where we belong. We're just songs for our children to sing after we're gone. La da da da, la da da, la da da, la da da da, la da da. Now, ain't it such a strange thing? We all kind of want the same thing. A little coinage in our pocket. A little happy for our kids. A dollar helps the homeless out. Then we cuss and chew the neighbors out. It all comes out the same mouth that we kiss our babies with. We're all a little off. Little lost, little choosing. Pull our cars into the driveways with the keys that we keep losing. Given time, we might just finally find we're right where we belong. We're just songs for our children to sing after. cars into the driveway with the key that we keep losing. Given time we might just find it find we're right where we belong. We're just songs for our children. We're just songs for our children to 
sing after we're gone. La da da da, la da da, la da da. We do songs for our children. La da da da, la da da, la da da. We do songs for our children to sing after we're gone. song is actually a, a, a little hard to play. I wrote it with a, I wrote it with a piano player, and so there's a G7 in there um, that uh, I struggle with, but I, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, so I apologize in advance if there's any mistakes, but I just love the song. Um, I was a preacher for 17 years, and, um, and then I got to a place in my life when I started asking questions that I was not satisfied with the answers. And I uh, I had to kind of reevaluate my spirituality when I was in recovery, and um, I actually uh, was writing with a with a uh, an up and coming artist, and I presented this idea, and he was very well. He just said that he couldn't say some of the things that that I was mentioning here because he felt like it would uh, uh, mess up his Christianity, and uh, and he actually reminded me a lot of myself when I was younger. Uh, because I was uh, I was actually uh, admittedly operating on a very naive faith, and so uh, so I uh, I just smiled and and, uh, and in my head I was thinking you're making a huge mistake because this song is awesome. So now it's my song and not his. Okay, let me see. I'm happy to learn it. Uh, help me. We I get lost so easy. Rough roads in my head Running down those memories It's a wonder I ain't dead Then hope it sneaks up on me Like my mama's sweet perfume And heals me like a razor Like God walks in the room and I can be forgetful Just how good I got it made with the try to keep the lights on and the keep the tax man paid. And it hits me watching baby boy eating ice cream with a spoon. It's stronger than a preacher's prayer, like God walks in the room. Amen. Amen. I lose myself, but I get found again when God walks in. God walks in the room. My lover sees a candle lighting all my darker parts. She's the star that points me home when I can't even find my heart. She calls me just like Jesus when I'm three days in the tomb. She's everything that fixes me like God walks in the room. myself but I get found again when God walks in God walks in the room remind me to remind you when I'm finished with this song 
to remind the other children before the innocence is gone. Each breath's a holy moment. Then we say goodbye too soon. And when you least expect it, that's when God walks in the room. myself, but I get found again when God walks in. God walks in the room. Oh, that moves me. The way you sing "Amen" makes mm-hmm. makes my makes my hair follicles on my arms. <laughs> what uh, a great day rise today! Up. <laughs> I am I, I am just so grateful to be here. This has been so good for me, and I can't thank you enough for letting me be a part of it today. If if somebody watches this and, and is not moved, they cannot be moved. What a wonderful day! <laughs> I'm tearing up over here. This is wonderful. You know what? It's church in a way. It is. It, it 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 brings, it brings the thing that uh, that I need, which is community connection and and hope. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. We've been we've been locked up pretty hard over here, as you know. You're in Nashville, so you know. Uh, and uh, I don't I don't guess I. I don't guess I recognized how much I was missing the connection until I started doing some of these streaming things, and could see another face on the other side of it, and. Uh, and then I get emotional seeing other people because it, you know, I, because we're we're wired for community. We are community animals, you know, and so it's just a beautiful thing. It's it's a great thing you're doing, Mary, and I I, I hope you just keep it up forever. It's wonderful. Well, thank you, Travis. We we plan to keep going with this as long as as long as we can, and and I just want to drive everybody over to your Patreon. You're uh, you're, you're signing up folks on a Patreon page and giving your Patreon fans very special access. Tell, tell the folks some of what you're bringing uh, on your Patreon. Well, I, I had been doing a lot of Facebook Live concerts for tips, and I had been doing, uh, uh, kind of neglected my YouTube channel. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to pamper that a little more. But since we couldn't tour, uh, you know, uh, we had to get creative and, uh, and so we signed up Patreon and, and basically just moved a lot of the live stuff that we were doing into a place where people can come and, and uh, they kind of, you know, they make a monthly thing, um, donation kind of a thing. And, and we give them songs, we give them videos uh, and give them little snippets of my life that I don't give anybody else. You know, I'll, I'll be barbecuing chicken and, you know what I mean? And, uh, check it out. Look. This chicken's going to be good. I wish you were here kind of thing. It's just, just kind of letting people be a part of uh, my life. And the, and uh, people have been very, uh, very nice. I was actually surprised at the response that we got. I'm still doing Facebook stuff. I'm still doing YouTube stuff. But but the Patreon place is just, uh, we'll just call it the, the family portion of the program where people, you know, the, 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 for the longest time, my my uh, my roots family I've, I've called them the travelers uh, you know travis uh, travelers with the uh, uh, l e r s uh, yeah. travelers uh, travis spreading the gospel of travis anyway those people moved over and kind of set up a community they talk amongst themselves and so it's just been a beautiful thing and uh, and i'm kind of excited about it because it kind of replaced um, I, you know, we can't tour. I kept moving dates back. First, it was going to be 14 days to flatten the curve, and then it got longer and longer. And I kept having to cancel more and more and more dates. And then finally, we came to the conclusion there is not going to be any touring. So there's no touring this year. We're hopefully going to look for next year. And to replace that, everything goes to Patreon. And so, uh, so it's been good. 
it's been yeah, that's been good. Yeah, yeah. Jamie's done the same thing. Jamie's got her Patreon up and running. Um, videos, music. Uh, what else do you offer? Videos, music. Um, we are gonna. Well, my fans are like voting on new merch items, and at certain um, at certain levels, they get like Polaroids from uh, like we played at the Bluebird, and so they got some Polaroids of that every month. And oh. like, a postcard and. Um, and they get just to hear everything before anyone else. So I've got, uh, just today I received a box of, um, a, a little acoustic record I've been working on, um, that's going to be released soon. And everyone on the Patreon page will hear that before. Yeah. Everyone so for that's the, not on the Patreon. For the music lovers on, live streams, it, on the like stream, that. the Patreon is where uh, you can find both Travis and, and Jamie and get <coughs> special access to stuff that the general public uh, is not receiving. So... They both truly appreciate your support there. And uh, Travis, it's been such a pleasure to share. Thank you so much. You. you know I love you. and you. Yes, ma'am. If I ever see your name on my phone, I'm answering it. Yes, <laughs> and I appreciate it. And you know the same goes for you. I love you so much. And thank you, I Jamie, for helping too. set up all this. Y'all are wonderful. You, thank you to the fans. Y'all take care. Thank see you, you soon. Thank you for being part of it. Thank you for streaming with us today. It was an honor. Good it was an honor. You. Thank yep. you. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. And uh, just one little quick little thing here before we go and play another song. This is 10 CDs. It's everything I've ever recorded in a box. We call it a bundle. It comes very neatly in a nice box. Nothing gets damaged. It comes with a mask uh, that says Mercy. It's a Mercy mask. Uh, 10 CDs and a mask shipped to you from me. Uh, $50 uh, plus postage, um, which varies uh, country to country, but uh, we ship them out fast. Uh, we get the orders on Sunday night. I ship them on Monday morning. We have uh, Mercy Now t-shirts size small to double X. Uh, we have the ever popular Mercy Now lyrics on a tea towel. These tea towels uh, uh, are... Uh, are uh, loved by folks around the world. I didn't even know what a tea towel was. I learned about this in England. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the tea towel. And down in Louisiana, where I come from, we just call it kitchen towel. Mm -hmm. But it's a tea towel. And we have the lyrics to Mercy Now on it. Uh, and all of these things are on my website, which uh, I am currently in charge of. And uh, I will be shipping these items myself out personally to you. So thank you for your support. Oh yeah, forgot. What'd the you forget? Mary, Jamie, oh, yeah. and Michaela around the campfire posters. Beautiful color designed by Brad Bond out of Austin, Texas. This is a picture from the Edmonton Folk Festival summer before last that he uh, turned into a beautiful work of art. I'll sign it, Jamie will sign it. Get these out to you straight away if you would like a beautiful poster. Um, we don't hit you too hard for those. I think they're like $15 and uh, uh, signed. So thank y'all again for a wonderful Saturday. Thank you. I love seeing all the love for Travis in the comments today. Everybody really enjoyed really Travis. Really loved and, it. And I yeah. knew they would. Travis it's... is very uh, is 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 very real and very true, and his songs are magnificent. Uh, and what a singer he is, too. He made people's day today. I just love seeing that. that makes yeah, he's really still got happy. a preacher in him and uh, <laughs> uh, of the good variety. So uh, thank you all for being part of what we do as we make our way through this, uh, this time. Uh, we're going into a second. Some call it a third wave of this virus. And this pandemic is getting worse in an awful lot of places, uh, Europe, United States, uh, it looks it looks like we're heading into some some real struggly days. Um, I know we're all real tired of it. I know we're all just wanting to go out to dinner and do something normal. Um, I'm playing it safe myself, uh, super conservative, uh, trying to do the right thing, uh, always wearing the mask, uh, and I'm just trying to take it a day at a time uh, and uh, to make good choices. Uh, and I'm sure that's what all of you are doing, too. So we want you to know that we love you. We appreciate you. Uh, I'm grateful for you spending your afternoon with us. I'm going to sing one more. Uh, and this is the old... I don't know what you call it. I don't have any hits. But this is the one that's probably going to be the one that I'm known for if I 
If I don't come up with something else to take its place, this is the one. It's called Mercy Now. Uh, love to all. Thank you all. Just so you know, all the tips will be divided equally among the artists on the screen today. So thank you to Travis's fans and thank you to my fans, Jamie's fans, Michaela's fans. It's a socialist economy here. We take care of everybody. We believe in making sure nobody gets left out here. You're helping everybody when you help somebody on this screen. Thank you. Well, my father sure could use a little mercy now. The fruits of his labor fall right slowly on the ground. His work is almost over. Won't be long, he won't be around I love my father He could use some mercy now And my brother Sure could use a little mercy now He's a stranger to freedom, shackled to his fear and doubt. The pain that he lives in, it's almost more than living will allow. I love my brother. Mercy now. My church and my country, they could use a little mercy now. As they sink into a poison pit, it's gonna take forever to climb. They carry the weight of the faithful who follow them down. I love my church and country. They could use some mercy now. Every living thing could use another mushroom cloud There's people in power who'll do anything to keep their crown I love life life itself Could use some mercy Now. Oh, I know we don't deserve it, but we need it anyhow. We hang in the balance, dang.
tangled between hell and hallowed ground and every single one of us could use some mercy now yes every single Thanks, everybody. We'll be back next week with... Amy Helm. Amy Helm. Levon Helm's daughter will be with us next week. Another co-writer that I love writing with. Can't wait to have Amy with us. Want to thank Travis again one more time. Michaela. Thank y'all. We love you. And we'll see you next week. Take care. <laughs>